Hello, welcome to Nisi's Custom. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. I really do appreciate the love and support that everyone has given me. Um, and if you would love, if you would please hit that like button and share my video, it would help my channel out so much. Um, today we are going to be doing something on Silhouette Studios. We're going to be changing from the cutting mat to a plain canvas to do a print. Okay. What you want to do, if this is your cutting mat, you want to go to machine and you're going to go all the way down until you see none. You're going to click none and this, everything is going to, the mat is going to disappear. Then number two, the cutting mat is going to automatically change once you change the machine up here. The media size, this is where you're going to change the paper type. Say for instance, you want to, if you got um, like transfer paper or a sublimation paper and it's a eight, eight and a half by 11, you're going to go all the way down to letter and you will see the size right here. And it's going to automatically change. That's in landscaping. And this right here is portrait. The first one is portrait. The second one is landscaping. And um, say for instance, you're not doing an eight and, a, eight and a half by 11. You were doing a 13 by 19. You want to come over here, hide like that. Hit the back button. And you want to put in 13. Point zero zero. You're going to come down here in the height. You're going to highlight that. You're going to hit the back button and you're going to put 19.00. And if that, if your orientation changed to landscaping, you can just go ahead and click the land, hit change to landscaping. Go ahead and check and click the portrait and it automatically change. So this right here is the 13 by 19 paper. So it's going to change to custom. As soon as you change these numbers down here, it's going to automatically change to custom. So I'm going to go back and go to my letter, eight and a half by 11 inches and change my paper size back. Okay. What also I would like to do, you're not going to change the rotation or anything like that. And you're not going to do the print bleed. And what also I would like to do is click my, check the box where it says shows print border. And it's going to show you up here, if you can see it, the print border. You can't go nowhere outside that border when you're printing. So I'm going to go ahead and get my image. Go to You're going to go to File. If you already got an image download on your computer that you want to use, you're going to go to File. No, you're going to go to File. Then you're going to Merge. And you're just going to merge it over. Where I have mine, it's um, Downloads. So I'm going to get this image right here once you see it you're gonna go ahead and hit OK once you wait that wait for that to come over okay you see how my image is is inside the print border but that is too close for comfort for me so I'm going to go ahead and click my image and you're going to see these points. See, it's an eight and a half by 11. So you want to go to the 
to one of these points at the end at the end at the corner and you just gonna just bring it in like that just move it and bring it in like that and um, once you do that you are just gonna click the image and move it in the center that's what you want to do okay once you uh, have that done you're going to you want to print the image you're going to go to file go all the way down to print hit print preference or we'll hit preference then another pop-up should come up and I already have my paper preset so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the medium size paper and I have my paper in um, tray one and it's the letter size eight and a half by eleven the portrait um, since I'm using Cosmos ink I went ahead and kept the paper type plain paper bright white paper then I went here to more settings then I got it all the way down to quality quant quality then you hit OK Oh, I went to. I had to move it. Hit OK. You're gonna hit color. All this right here stays the same. This is this is if you're using Cosmos Ink. What then I'm what I'm showing you right now that is if you're using Cosmos Ink. Then you're going to go to more options. Then all that is going to be the same. Then you want to click mirror image. That's the only time that you're going to use. Um, like I already have my stuff already set up. So I'm just showing you everything. Because when I hit the medium paper, everything is going to come, goes how I got it set up and also guys the print that I'm the printer that I'm using it's a Epson 7720 I'm gonna go back to main and I'm going to hit OK and hit OK now is um downloaded to getting ready to print and i'll show you i'll come back when it's finished okay once that's finished printing you're going to go ahead and take that out and the paper that i'm using is a sub paper that's a good paper too and just look look at how that the color is on this paper okay I'm back and I'm getting ready to put my image on my shirt and I'm using my 16 by 24 um, press I you can do it long ways like that or you can do it this way right here and I want to do it this way um, as you can see I have my butcher paper down and I had the whole thing covered because um, I did a shirt one day and the whole thing wasn't covered and I, I don't know what happened I don't I don't know what happened but this all this right here was blue the edges was blue with the image in the front on the back well it was blue on the back on both sides and I pressed my image and I was like oh my god what did I do but 
I learned my lesson. I learned how to slow down and take my time and do it. So I'm going to go ahead and press my shirt for a few seconds. Okay. And I'm going to get my butcher paper. And I'm going to slide it underneath my shirt like that. So I won't get that ghosting or what ever that mess be. So I'm going to put my image right here. Get my heat tape and tape it down. I'm going to get another piece of butcher paper and put over it. And in the comment section, can you please um, comment and, and just let me know are these videos helpful for helpful to you or if you want me to do another type of video i can do it i'm looking for my teflon sheet and you know what guys i cannot wait until i my husband finish my office because this right here is ridiculous I can't put nothing. And the Teflon sheet is right here. Right here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and press that for 60 seconds at 398. And I changed my timer. I did remember to do that. Okay. That's finished. I'm going to remove the Teflon sheet. Move my big butcher paper. Lift my image up. And I'm going to show you how it looks. And that's how my image look on my shirt. And guys, I'm going to tell you, Cosmos Ink and that a sub paper is like on the money i'm telling you get it get it i got a code um in the description part of this video um for cosmos ink and a sub paper from amazon go ahead and get it i'm telling you it's the truth um that concludes our video remember like subscribe and share and remember god loves you and i love you too bye